Hey, look at all these videos Mr. Quagmire's selling. Wow, the best of the world's wildest police chases. <gasps> and it even has the one with the Flintstones. Amazingly, this drunk driver turns left into a driver, totals the car and makes a run for it. But the pursuing officers are prepared. Running from the cops, yabba dabba don't. Hey, Quagmire, I think I might want to buy this ham radio off you. Sure, Peter, that'll be... Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe flooded Ken Powell Square in remembrance of the third anniversary of the Holmesburg Massacre. But finally, some good news out of neighboring Kanduzi, as locals there have reached an un... Hello, ghosts. Come in, ghosts. Hello. Hello? Who's this? This is Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The guy that used to bang that 70-pound witch? Ronald Reagan, former president. Who the hell was that? Hmm? There was another Stewie right there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I've been so damn busy lately. My schedule's been so packed. I felt like I needed some kind of an errand boy to do all my nitpicky, pain-in-the-arse stuff. So I cloned myself. You... you cloned yourself? He's got quite a grip. Hey, bitch, Stewie. Why are there no midget accountants? Because they always come up short. <laughs> Oh, another good one, Stewie. I don't know where you come up with him. Isn't he wonderful? And all I have to feed him is a crude peanut. Don't go breaking my head. I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I get restless. Oh, hello, Brian. Oh, there's your friend Brian. Hey, Brian. I sure did enjoy talking to you the other day. I'm just making sure Stewie is nice and clean for his trip to the playground this afternoon. We had a little bit of a problem earlier because... Be I told him I did the poos even though you did the poos, Stewie. Did I do good, Stewie? That was very correct of you, bitch, Stewie. You're a good helper. And what a lot of people... Rich Little... In fact, you ought to go see his show at the Mohegan Sun Casino next Saturday at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Wait a second. Yeah, no What? Peter, that's not Ronald Reagan, that's Rich Little. You're Rich Little! He must be on a baby from you, obviously didn't want it. A baby? I didn't sell a baby. Look, there's a note. Glenn, this is your child. Next time wear a condom, jerk. Oh, my God! What I well, the DNA test results are back. This little girl is definitely your baby, Quagmire. Well, what am I supposed to do? I, I don't want a baby. Look, somebody's got to take this kid off my hands. I, I can't be a father. Well, Glenn, you don't have a choice. This baby is your responsibility. A tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a couple hours. You smoke? Stewie, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to anything. I've never been to a party before. Wanna watch me blow out the candles? I would love to see that. And gosh, Bobby, I'd love to play with some of your birthday toys, but only after you've played with them and only if you say it's okay. You know, Stewie, I gotta say, is this some kind of sexual thing? Nobody said anything about sexual. There's nothing sexual about it. I'm just asking you to perform a simple task. Take your index finger and your thumb and lightly grip the base of your tail and run your finger. I don't know why you're stopping. Nobody told you to stop. Give me a little smile. Your lips look a little dry. Almost split Lois in half coming out of her. It's true. I never mention this because I don't want him to feel bad, but after he was born, they had to rearrange most of my organs. Oh, yeah, he dragged half of Lois right out with him. Yeah, the doctor said I'll be lucky if I live past 50, but Chris's health... Do for you? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's kind of what I said, too. You know, I'll be honest with you, Brian. Here's what happened. I didn't really want to do the work, so bitch Stewie sort of did it. Hey, Stewie, how'd the clone turn out? Brian, I can't go to the bathroom by my... Yeah, it's a long story. Damn kids kept me up every night for two weeks. Now, where were we? Giggity, giggity. So, it's just not working out, me being a father, and that's why I'm wondering if you and Lois would be willing to adopt the baby. 
Uh, oh boy, Quagmire, I, I don't know that we can do that. We, we, we can barely take care of the two we have. The pencil in my bum and now I need a band-aid. You're doing the right thing, Quagmire. <laughs> hey, so, um, you know, maybe past. Here's your license. Go be a dick. Oh, Lois, I slept great on your side of the bed. Oh, and I read your journal. Boy, you really hate P period, G period. Friend on an air mattress in his laundry room. It's temporary. No, it's not. No. Okay, well, thanks. We'll just try a few out. I hope you don't mind. I brought my CPAP machine. Amazon, aren't you? Yep, they have drones now. Oh, come on, Peter. We gotta beat the drone to the house. Real stores suck! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's everywhere! Hey, Stewie, you got a second? I have nothing to say to you, Brian. Besides, I'm busy playing with my new... What the hell's going on? What's going on? You've been liled. Ah! Oh, right. Okay, Lois, I dabbed some toothpaste on the inside of my nose, so I am willing to take the old nesty plunge, if you know what I mean. All right, Lyle, one thing buddies do together is go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. Oh, Lyle, I'm so glad I have you as a friend. Now I can do fun things like get on your shoulders and wear a trench coat and be tall enough to ride roller coasters. Hello, fellow adult. I am clearly above the minimum height require our time together, Lyle. In fact, I drew you a little keepsake. It's a picture of a male man wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> Just a silly thing. Thank you, Stewie. I drew you something as well. It's an urban plan for a workable Palestinian state. Trapper creeper. Ah. Um, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Well, wouldn't you know it. I moved the van over to... I hope you did your homework, because you're going to spend a third of your life on that thing. I swear to God, Joe. Well, look, Peter, the answer is obvious. If Lois won't sleep with you on the new mattress, we just got to get your old mattress back. Oh, my God, Quagmire, that's a great idea. She won't care about messing up the old... Every pot finds a lid, huh? <laughs> Have fun, you kids. We finally got a thank you note from Bella for that birthday party present. With a single mom, I didn't know for sure. Leave. No, he must Asperger you to leave. Ho ho, you've been Ted Ard. That was mean. But I like that song. Is he sad? I can't tell if he's sad. Uh, uh, chunky right when you don't want it to be. Uh, uh, there, I did it. We're friends now, right? Maybe. How about you throw it all up back into the bottle, but don't spill a drop. Okay. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah. Now, wait a second. You can't do that to... A Negro? Get up, lady. That's my mattress. Oh, my God, Bruce. You do porn? Nah, that's part of the crew. I mostly just powder the ding-dongs. This ain't your mattress, buddy. We just got it, fresh off the boat from Eastern Europe. I was told I would have job as au pair. Oh, my God, Stewie. What are you doing in the toilet with the lid closed? Ted R. says this is where a piece of crap has to live. This bot's out. You'd... You'd help me do that? Of course, Stewie. I'm your friend. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Brian. Okay, let's wrap it up. I reserved this time to listen to Metallica and flex in the mirror. It's Chris. And all the way up here was Stewie. Because remember you coughed up all that pool water? Oh, Peter, you were so handsome. Lois, this mattress may be old and worn in, but so are we. 
And I wouldn't trade you in for anything. Not gonna be easy. They're incredibly intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. I designed them to be constantly adapting. It's done. I sprayed them with the hose. 